got the picture. And this is one of very rare bays that we are not using in fact for swimming. It's rare to see a boy over there enjoying the system of military architecture and it's really excellent example telling us about development of such a type of architecture in front we do have very small especially if we compare the most important fortresses this is the smallest but it is also uh, very important in the world context as the first casamatic fortress with special niches inside four cannons it's the work of 15th century as it is also the second line of the walls mm. so practically you have one that is high and narrow that one is encircling entire present city ever since the end of 14th century but then because firearms were developed and because uh, it was great fear in 15th century due to occupation of ottomans in our interland so we have invited one italian master and he was in charge for the fortress but also for the second line of the walls that is existing only towards the dry land not towards we need to pass the stone bridge that one is ending with the drill bridge what you are seeing on the western side you'll see also on the eastern one so it's the city is very regular in terms usually do you do have all these same elements and then let me also mention down below the bridge there is a park but in the past it was a moat without a moat it right. would not be a perfect system of military architecture and then we do have in front the renaissance villa gate with one of many statues dedicated to St. Blaise. St. Blaise is protecting us ever since 10th century. And before entering, part of the city. Nowadays we call it St. Mary's Quarter. Originally it was a small little fisherman's village existing on that very place in the second century BC. That was at least true uh, with our last archaeological uh, researches done in the old fort. So we have started from here to expand toward edges. It took us different centuries to reach the other side. The most, most recent part of the city, it is the one indicated with number 25, the eastern part, yes, the, the convent of Dominicans. And then regarding what we have seen, Lovienets, Boca, Round Fortress of Minchita. So let me tell you, we are going to complete the frame of the most important fortresses, adding 
St. John and the Revelin, which are protecting the old When you enter, you do see the main street from the beginning till it's very yeah. one of the most beautiful fountains in Croatia. It is polygonal structure and every single side it is indicated by the face. We do have more human faces than animal ones. The oldest Croatian pharmacy. You have heard after mentioning the voucher, uh, the calling particularly for a different note. See, we generally have leaves of different aromatic herbs. You do have animals. You will see also humans. You will see some fantastic creatures. And if coming to Instead of, let's say, medicines, that is the ritual is still very lovely about it. So, in that process, let's say, normal, modern opera, but they do have also some communities exposed. Franciscans, they got 52 direct hits in the 90s. You do see where it hit it. Mm -hmm. You consider also very different goldsmith shops. You have these putzas, buttons, presenting different dimensions. And nowadays it is often it is really beautiful. But I have to say, for us, it is in fact the second biggest that we do have. The biggest, biggest one, it is kept at Dominican Church. This is in fact more resistant ground. Respect for all these that are special Dubrovnik characteristic regarding them it is that every day at 12 precisely we are or the city is offering lunch for our pigeons it's important not to be on that square at 12 precisely let me invite you in a way to let you see a little yeah. bit yeah. more. And Adnovan, yeah. you like All the masalas, tiki masala. <laughs> you like are very relaxed, very I would say uh, quite 
well fed and they all sleeping not all. I like to mention uh, we do have three schools within the walls. So my kids attended this school uh, as really small when they started till fifth grade. Then they moved outside the city gates. Mm -hmm. And now they're again uh, within the walls because it's the seat of uh, the classical gymnasium. While on the top of this little street, there is another building. We call it musical school. But do you expect art in general, music, ballet, and uh, art, and it is meant both for elementary and for uh, uh, high school. So it's only, let's say, university level that you have to compete as Italian play. Why? They wanted to control everything. So they've been controlling us for a century and a half, but then after uh, proclaiming uh, uh, independent and free Republic of Ragusa, uh, we've been practically enjoying on our own. Without Venetians to tell us what to do and what to avoid, and I need to mention during uh, Venetian domination, we've been using that period to learn about constitution of the future republic. Well, well, well. It's five precisely. And it's the bell in front of us and two bronze men that are indicating hours whenever you are in tried. Yes? But not Prosciutto de Parma. <laughs> uh, but it's different from Italian wine. It is more salty yeah. and it's smoked. We had it for breakfast every morning. Oh, good. <laughs> so after Jewish Street, it's the blacksmith street, and the last one, it is the goldsmiths. Nowadays, we may pass, you're not going to see any uh, single goldsmith shop, but others. They are displayed mostly in different parts of the city. No need to control them like in the past the Republic was controlling. And the Republic was always asking to respect different percentages of different materials to use the, the seal with same place on every single product. And if both needs were treated, the Republic was having severe measures not to permit themselves. And there I'm, I'm inviting you to go. Do consider, we need to pass close to St. Nicholas Church which is open only once a year, on the 6th of December, and that's it. And we do have, in fact, a number of similar churches that are open only once, or few times, but not throughout the day, a year. And then, passing through this passage, we are reaching the Dominican area. So I need to say, Dominicans originally were built up outside the city gates. This was a part of the walls, and all these windows were created after this part of the city was added to the rest. In terms when at the end of the 14th century the walls were constructed to let it be within the walls. It is also the most religious part of the city. In terms, there are five churches and only one uh, ordinary house. And we are also very close to eastern entrance exit.
Would you like to reach the other one? Uh, you are completing as the first the northern part, which is the highest, uh, but then you. But uh, it's possible to climb up and reach them uh, every day till seven, and then stays open for one hour. This is the ending part of our city, the eastern one, the eastern gate, but also the extreme eastern end of the city that is indicated by that large structure. The we are right now, right here, and there are 10 little houses, all connected by um, uh, different uh, open courts. We have seen the very central part of the city. We have started from that area, the yeah. western one. Yes, we have passed through there using the main street, but also climbing up here, then getting down, passing close to uh, Serbian Orthodox Church that is mm -hmm. indicated here. Then we went this way you'll remember mm -hmm. the school and that Mejad Muslim Center and this is where we came back to the main street so do consider once we'll be back we'll go this way in way to pass the main square all the most important monuments are around but our next call it is this very palace the governmental palace that nowadays it is a cultural museum and then let me mention this is our cathedral still all locals we all do prefer St. Blaise one and the very heart of entire city it is this small little old port so let me show you at least one court of Lazaretti that nowadays are used as you may they see. They had the right to enter within the old port or they've been displayed in these small little houses. So goods and the crew who was using this more than the others because this one was opened in 16th century. I have to say mm, on the first place uh, Bosnians uh, because Bosnians after Ottoman Empire conquered Bosnia, Serbia, Macedonia, Kosovo, in part also Montenegro they started with Islamization and uh, e uh, previously Roman Catholics or Orthodox some of them in fact not only some but great majority uh, accepted Islam and nowadays in Bosnia you do have like three different yes religions you have three different ethnics but then more typical for us it is a you it's um, Bougainvillea the only condition it is that the owners do really like Especially, it's better when you are uh, you are knowing more things and to take them to Vienna. So nowadays you may see the ones that were So, Eastern entrance, another same place. Do consider a few more. Oh, you do see the zip line? Mm -hmm. Yes. Few more kilometers, very few more. And you are already. 
already entering in Bosnia and Herzegovina. What you do have on the top of the hill, there is steel tower, there is fortress, there is the upper cable car structure, and there is uh, one restaurant called Panorama. Usually it's very But anyway, we are about to enter in this palace. You'll enjoy its interior. It also reminds me of the Tokyo Palace in Oh. The columns. The columns, yes, yes, yes. Uh, we are saying that uh, ornaments on these capitals are all telling us about human government. So, so about good government. You may practically do some parts on here. Yes. Limestone that's depending on how polished it is, sometimes it seems like a marble. And shrimps that means that we are entering like in the past we would and we are reading the documents. These were notary offices. So, one floor was free to all, nobility, non nobility, because of different kinds of documents. It was, let's say, the real path for all judges. Will you will reach the courtroom, but only after seeing the beautiful Renaissance. See? So the room is really very small, and you need to ask yourself, was it really so important to have such a ceiling? Obviously, yes. Nowadays, in between different artworks, I need to mention this mobile altar. That was the one that our nobility, in fact, three chosen noblemen that were going to Istanbul to deliver uh, to Ottoman Sultan tribute, yearly tribute. They've been carrying this one with them. In terms of going to Muslim lands, they need to 12,000 golden ducats. They've been uh, becoming hostages. Uh -huh. And that was in fact the guarantee for Turkish Sultan that the next year new income is going to be brought. And three new noblemen from the Republic were becoming hostages while the previous ones were in fact liberated. And this is the former courtroom. If you've been one of four judges, you have places reserved. If you've been brought here to let you hear the sentence, you've been brought using the opposite direction. And who was brought from that direction usually was supposed to silently listen the sentence caused by judges not to express their uh, variant of crime and what you may consider as existing for us regarding punishment mm -hmm. all kinds a uh, public shaming or whipping or cutting different parts of the body or losing your life 
But what I find really important to mention, it was not that penalty that was considered to be the worst punishment. It was rather to be expelled from the territory of the Republic. And you do ask yourself why expelling that was okay, at least you're still alive. Yes, but then as the state was really so very regulated and as a nobility that was ruling the city and the state, they've been taking in great consideration also ordinary men. Mm. So nobody was supposed to be hungry, thirsty or sick and not cured, not at least treated. So in that way, the base was really formed of the Republic. It was like a big mom. And being expelled, that was like being shown to the alliance, in a way. This is in fact selling us that Adriatic, it is nice when it's calm, but it has also the other face, and that other face it is caused by southern wind that brings bad weather, bad mood, and really rough sea. So nowadays navigation is much more safe, but in the past it was quite dangerous to sail during the time of what we call Yuko. Southern wind. So these are in fact testimonies of different shipwrecks from our vicinity. Mostly 17th, 18th century, but let me mention one of the most important shipwrecks. It's uh, close to Tartat, three different boats from three different periods. Oh, yes. Oh, and so more open yeah. that you may really see what it was functioning like. Mm -hmm. Well, this is one of few houses with the exit up to the walls. Next to it, there is another one. But we do have them maybe about well, 10 ice maximum. We are here in fact. We could be on. Yeah. You okay then? Yeah, we just mm -hmm. As you may see, it is really the swimming distance from the city to the island. On the other hand, I'm not recommending you to do so because of all these kayaks and motorboats. No, that time has passed. Oh, 
well, maybe they have your your, your uh, custard there. <laughs>